Have you ever wondered how round discs of metal are cut? In this video, we're going to see how you can use a disc cutter to cut out discs of copper. I am going to be cutting out one inch discs and three quarters inch discs. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and share. You're going to need a disc cutter. This is my favorite disc cutter. As you can see, it's well loved and I've had it for several years. This is a Pepe Tools disc cutter. It's a little spendy, but it's well worth it. It lasts years if you take care of it well. Here is a sheet of copper that I have heated to anneal it to soften it and what I'm going to do here is with this disc cutter it comes with two slabs of metal that are screwed in together uh, and then each of the holes are a different size so you unscrew this a little bit on the top to slip your metal into to sandwich it between the two slabs and then you position it. I'm trying to make the most out of the copper sheet and kind of get as close to the previous cut as possible. And then you close this to tighten it so your metal doesn't move. Then you're going to use your disc cutter that is the appropriate size of the hole here. Put that in there. And you're also going to need a brass mallet. So I use a brass mallet because the brass is softer than this metal and it won't destroy the steel. And then you're going to whack it really hard in the center here. Um, you try to do fewer whacks so that your metal comes out sharp and smooth. And I've had to do a few more than I usually do because I have the camera right up here and I didn't want to whack the camera. But otherwise, usually you can lift your arm a little higher to back it. That's a one pound brass mallet. And here is the disc that we just cut. So we're going to do the same with the three quarters. And so again, I'm going to reposition this to get the copper into the three quarter hole right here. And then tighten that. And here is the three quarter piece. So I put that in there and whack. And here we go. There's the three quarters inch. I have some three quarter inch discs and some one inch discs. So I'm going to polish these discs and I do that in a plastic tub because as you can see, all of the sediment that comes off of this. And so I'm using my radial disc and I'm going to polish that off. And what that does is it removes the tarnish from heating the copper. Now that the fire scale is gone, you can see how shiny the copper is in comparison to the one with the fire scale on it. Thank you for joining me today.